Today I will show you how to create photorealistic carpets in V-Ray for SketchUp. This is Monica from edac.org. To create carpets, we need to use V-Ray Fur to obtain the best results. I prepare the scene with the carpet and firstly I will create the carpet material. I go to the asset editor, create asset, materials, generic. I will rename it to V-Ray carpet. I will change the color of this material to the lighter one, almost white color. And then I apply this material to the carpet. Now I will create V-Ray fur. To do this, just right click at the top bar and choose V-Ray objects. If you choose V-Ray objects, new icons will appear. And here we have these icons. And then I select the carpet group and click on add fur to selection. As we can see, a V-Ray fur is added to selection. We can notice red dashed lines and blue lines. I go to the asset editor and here I have geometry tab and we can notice a new position fur. Here we have a lot of parameters which we'll discuss during the lesson. Let's check the visualization. This is our carpet. As you can notice, it doesn't look perfect. That's why it will change some properties. Firstly, I will increase the length of the strands. For now, it's 4. I will increase it to 10. And we can notice that it looks much different. Now we can change the thickness of the strands. For now, it's 0 0.12. I will increase it to 0 0.5 and the carpet looks different. The next very important parameter is distribution. We can choose distribution per area or per face. I always choose distribution per area and here I can set the value. For example, if I set one and I work with centimeter units, it means that I have one strength per square centimeters. If I set it to three, I have three strands per square centimeters and I can change the density of the strands in the carpet. I will set 30 and I will increase the length of the strands to 0 0.2. Let's also decrease the thickness value to 0 0.05. I think that the carpet strands are too dense. I will decrease the count area to 10, I will increase the length to 2, and we can check the effect. Carpet looks much better. Now let's get to know some new properties. Let's move on to gravity and bend. Gravity controls the force that pulls the first strands down along the z-axis. And here we have bend function. When it's set to 0, we have strained lines. When it's set to 1, we can notice a strands bending. I will change the gravity to 0 and then I will change the length to 5. And let's notice that the carpet looks very different. There is no gravity, we have a bend and the length is 5. Let's change the bend function to 0 and there is no bending in the carpet. I set very often gravity to minus 3 and bend to 0.5. Let's move on to the previous values, gravity minus 3 and bend 0.5. I will decrease the length to 2 and change the thickness to 2. Let's move on to the taper value. Increasing this value make each strand thinner in its upper end and wider in its base. I will set the taper to 0.1 and I will decrease the thickness to 0.05. I will change the scene to scene 3 because I want to have a closer look at the carpet. We can notice that the strands have the same thickness at the base and at the end of the line. 
Let's change it. I will change the taper value to 0 0.9 and the strands look different. I think that they are much more realistic because at the end they are very thin. Let's take a look at the strands. As we can see, every strand is created by straight lines and one strand is created by five segments. It's visible on the visualization. If I change the number of knots, it's here, to eight, then every strand will be created by eight segments and it will look much better or much smoother. And this is the difference. I think that it's much more realistic. Let's create something different. I will change the count area to five. Then I will set taper, gravity and bend to zero. And let's focus on curl section. I enable the curls. And here I will set the curls radius to 0.1, curl radius variation I will set to 0.2, and number of curls, for example, to 5. Let's check the effect. I created curls in the carpet. I don't use very often this function, but I think that it's good to know what it creates. For now, I will disable curls, and let's move on to variance function. If the direction is set to 0.4, direction of the strands is going to have 40% variation. If the length is set to 0.2, it means that there is 20% variation of the length. I set it very often to 0.2, 0.3 or 0.4. Let's change the taper, gravity and bend values to the previous one. Taper 0.9, gravity minus 3 and bend 0.5. Let's change the scene to scene 2 and check the visualization. This is our carpet and it's time to talk about the level of detail. It's almost at the bottom here, level of detail. I enable this function. If I set the star distance to 10 and rate to 1000, then nothing has changed. If I change the rate to 10, we can notice a big change. So, if your carpet is visible on the visualization and we don't need the detail of the carpet, then we can change the level of detail. If I increase the rate to 20, then we can notice that this detail is more visible. If I increase this rate value, it will be more and more detailed. For now, I'll disable it. And it's time to create material for the carpet. I prepare the maps. They are located in the folder. You can find them in the description of the video. And we have carpet diffuse map and carpet normal map. I go to the asset editor, go to the materials, V-Ray carpet, and I click on the texture slot in the diffuse tab, choose bitmap, and upload carpet div map. Then I go to the bump tab. I will change the bump map to normal map because I have blue velvet map. And then I upload the bitmap carpet normal. Let's change the color space to rendering space and decrease the intensity of the bump tab to 0.1. If your new material is not mapped correctly, then you can choose Sketch UV plugin. You can download this plugin from the link which is in the description of the video. I have this plugin here. There are these two icons, Sketch UV. And then I go to the View tab, Component Edit, turn on Hide Rest of Model, double click on the carpet, go to the top view, then I go to the camera, choose parallel projection, select face, then I apply V-Ray carpet material to the face of the carpet, then I click on sketch UV mapping tools, right click and planner map. It's done. Everything works fine. Let's move on to scene 2 
and let's check the visualization. And this is our carpet. It looks much more realistic because we have applied new material. Let's change some values. I will increase the length to 5 and let's see the difference. And let's move on to a very important function. It's initial direction map. We can create a special noise map in initial direction and thanks to it we'll get very interesting effect. That's why I click on the texture slot, noise B. Then I change the type to fractal and change the size to 0 0.2. That's it. I go to the previous asset and let's check the difference. And we can notice that direction has changed. It looks more realistic because the direction is different. Thanks to the noise map, we have more realistic effects. And I will change the length again. I increase it to 2. And let's check it again. And this is our carpet. If I come a little closer, we can see that there is a noise in the direction of the carpet. And thanks to it, it looks very fine. Feel free to change some parameters and check the effect. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org with even more SketchUp courses. See you soon. Bye.